Mary Love Kill. Oh, gosh. Yep. I was like, what? What? Yeah, chill out. Uh, first, <laughs> I was like, what are we saying there? First up. Is that uh, how you say yep. that? Yeah. Um, sports Today, Hanging with Hester, AFR. Oh, um, easy. Yeah, this is easy. easy. You kill easy. AFR, yeah. you yes. sleep with Hanging with Hester, yes. and you marry your yes. dependable yes. guys. Yes. Like yes. Yes. Is that just right. little awesome, man? It's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. I think that that yeah. was a dumb question. Nothing yeah. would make me happier than being married to Hanny and Odd. It'd be very stable. <laughs> you, know, you know what you're getting. A lot of fun. Great history there. They're not going to run around on you, behind your back. Well, well, Hanny won't. Right. I don't know about Otter. We can't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> Half of Otter. Reliable relationship. Yeah. Um, Derek Russell wants to know, is it too early to give up on Baker Mayfield in fantasy? Mm-hmm. I am, Things uh, I don't care about. Does yeah, it every, look good, though? I, I should preface everything I say on fantasy with, um, in probably a decade of playing fantasy football, I've made the playoffs twice. Uh, so I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm going to say no. You should not give up on Baker Mayfield. Yeah, I think just no. Yet. It's a little know. early. It's not hit the panic button. It's not been a great first two weeks, but I only think that this Browns offense will get better with time. And 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 look, the Jets suck, but the Jets' defense isn't that bad. Yeah, I wouldn't sell on Baker Mayfield, but my my, my level of concern is rising for sure. I mean, like the the the, the amount of misses he had last night, just the inaccuracy. Uh, but you still have playmaking wide true. receivers that you can get the balls in the hands of. So uh, uh, I would not sell on Baker just yet. You know, nobody cares about anybody's fantasy teams. Uh, but I do have a friend in my league who's two quarterbacks with Drew Brees and Ben Roethlisberger. Ooh. So I did think, I did, I mean, I did think that was kind of funny, right? I mean, it's kind of funny. Yeah, I know. Whatever. Does having the past two Heisman winners come from Oklahoma make it harder for Hurts to win? Thought about this a lot. I think it makes it easier. Because Jalen Hurts has the best storyline, hands down, of anyone. Um, I think Burrow's second from a storyline perspective. And I think, too, right now Trevor Lawrence just isn't playing well enough to win the Heisman. Um, I think it makes it harder. Dude. I don't think – I think I think college football really doesn't want a third year in yeah. a row of Clemson, Alabama, Oklahoma Heisman winner. That's a little too much stability at the top when you're looking for a little more parity. I agree with you, and I definitely think that they don't want the stale storylines of the same – championship in the same school representing the Heisman Trophy, but the numbers are going to be so embarrassing I at agree. the end of the year. And and from what the two before him accomplished, I think he's going to be right there again in the winner's circle as, as a guy, if not in discussion, like he is this morning, he's the favorite. So does that kind of become part of the problem then? Like, is this Oklahoma offense combined with the conference they play in? Is it just going to be a situation where they're always going to put up stupid numbers? So if you're too married to those stupid numbers, and are you going to have to give it to them every year? Yeah, I, I think it's actually a net negative on Hurts, even though his storyline, I still think, has him as my front runner. Yeah, for sure. And I think we've seen players this hurt, not necessarily schools, right? Tim, Tim Tebow came back after he had won a Heisman. It kind of played against him, even though he still played at that high level. Lamar yeah. Jackson came now, back. Matt, After his and, and Matt Leinart. Matt Leinart had a better statistical year his senior year when Reggie Bush won the Heisman than he did when he actually won the Heisman. Right. To your point. Um, for Jalen Hurts, it's all going to come down to that Texas game. Just like for Oklahoma. Watch Hurts for Salinger. What do you think, Nathan? I think they'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you answer. <laughs> that all sounds great. That sounds good. I'm on board. Um, I'm only asking this question because I want to bring something up. Is it acceptable for a man to cry? And my favorite man crying story is T-Bob. On our real friends, RIP. Our real friends, podcast. Movie, podcast Christmas wonderful. edition. It really is. <laughs> How do you feel about Diane it? Keaton, T Bob? No, it wasn't. It, I mean, yes, I love Diane. It, was, it, was, it was the whole T-Bop thing. It. it was Diane. It was, um, it was who's, Diane. Who, who's the coach that's, uh, the, guy or from the coach. actor that's coach? Yeah. Mr. Judd. Incredible from The Incredibles. Uh, Judd, what's he's his the name? Guy, he's coach from like. Oh, oh you're talking about uh, Craig T. Nelson. Craig yes. T. Thank you. Excuse me, not Judd. Craig T. Nelson, Diane Keaton. They have this really sweet moment in Family Stone where she has breast cancer and they kind of know she's going to die and they're oh, sitting in their bed and they're wow. talking to each Z- other. Eyes are glistening. Yeah, I mean, no, real That's talk. Yeah, I know. I mean, I will. started crying and, and I started crying. And and yeah, we were, a little, we were a little hungover doing that Real Prince <laughs> episode and I completely broke down. If you can find the video, you see me. It's out there in the wild. You see me trying to. I'm not it's really on board with the crying. It's on a YouTube channel well, somewhere. <laughs> Nathan, we know that you are a sociopathic murderer who only fakes human emotions. But that's why I'm disappointed because I have to be able to mirror them and I failed. Yeah, but but <laughs> but but murderers can't. You can just do that thing where you look like like uh, Blake on Bachelor in Paradise. He was trying to act upset yeah. that Christina was breaking up with him, and he what just couldn't actually feel upset. Yeah, exactly. Um, wow, I think look this at that is, cold sob. 
I think this is insane. Apparently, yes, men can cry. This yeah, is something of course yeah, they can, can cry. cry. Uh, apparently, this is something Moscona said yesterday. That what? Men don't cry? No, no, no. That um, Drew's injury is worse than losing a beloved pet. No. Uh, um, I had okay. to put a dog down after five years, and I stayed in bed for about two weeks. Like, if you'd love an animal, sure. yeah. You know, get out of here, Muscona. I mean, I'll fight about animals to Also, the though, death. it's not like it's career-ending or season-ending for Breeze. So let's Someone like take also, the man's like, whiskey away. Down, let's see what happens. Huh, yeah, for real, is it worse than having your Pappy <laughs> Van Winkle or whatever it is broken? <laughs> Has NFL officiating always been terrible and we just didn't realize it? Or is it just more apparent now because there are 100 high-def cameras on the field showing 100 high-def angles? I mean, i got to imagine that's it, man. Definitely, I mean, yeah. You see everything yeah. now. You see everything. Everything. Oof. There's, I mean, like the Jalen Ramsey, um, Doug Marone, like meltdown on the sideline. I mean, like ev- there is a camera on everything now. You can't, you can't have any type of competition at the highest level, whether it's college football or NFL, where nothing is is off limits. I well, mean, it seems like everything has then, a vantage point. And then you think about the rise of gambling. And Fantasy when you football. talk about gambling, um, the need to get it right is. Because you don't want to look like you're being corrupt in any way. Like, the need to ride is huge. That just incentivizes you to have more cameras, add more angles. Um, that, that See, and that's the thing. I will actually defend NFL officials. I think for the most part, they are incredible at their job. You look at what they get right with these new camera angles, and as much as it exposes what they do wrong, it really exposes how right they are in some incredibly bang-bang plays for whatever reason. They just can't get their they head out their credit. ass. They don't You're get being, credit for being right, though. Being no, I agree. I yeah. agree, but I'm saying, but you just can't get their head out their ass when it comes to the Saints. Like, they are making these just, like, inexcusable, critical mistakes that are just, frankly, mind-boggling. And I don't even think it's representative of refereeing in the NFL. Like, they're very good on the whole. Mm-hmm. They just have to get it figured out when it comes to games involving New Orleans. It's absurd. I can give you an officiating point of view, and I have not officiated at that high of a level, but it's just, it's, it's a thankless position. Yeah. That, you know, like really, you want to stay out of the story. It's just like a left tackle or defensive back. Yeah. If you don't mention their name, you've done a good job. Right. Yep. If you're in um, the story, ew. yeah, yeah, right. I mean, like the Saints in the NFC Championship yes. game. That is a, that is a nightmare. Yeah. For officials to to leave that game being the the, the main point. So, um, I, I know how thankless it is, but at that speed. I can't imagine trying to officiate a game. Right. I, I, just really I can't. refereed a charity basketball game, <laughs> and it was the worst experience. I will never yeah. agree to do it again. You know what the worst officiating experience I ever had in my life was? They used to have that L.A. Ledge basketball game in the PMAC <laughs> where the Senators played the house, and it was the one year that I was So it wasn't lobbyist. bipartisan. It was like it was oh. Senators versus – I mean, it wasn't like on part – it wasn't Republican versus Democrat. It was Senators versus, versus the house. Right, okay. right, right. It was the worst experience of my life. <laughs> I mean, like, they complained. Kalada, where do you live? Yeah. You want absolutely. those bridges? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm expecting a call right. here. Right. Um, two more quick ones really quick. Should LSU lock Grady down for $2 million as OC? Yes. Um, I mean, like, we're getting ahead of ourselves, but sure. I mean, if it's, if it's him leaving or that, yes. Yes. Then pay him. I mean, uh, if, if given the option of losing him, pay him. Yeah. Last one. T-Bob, if you would have been good enough... Which is, uh, no, like no, 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 it's fine. I know it's fine. Oh. Oh. He's, right. He's right. He is absolutely <laughs> to right. To make the NFL. Yes, she. Well, you were, T Bob. No. You were good enough. No, I was Which not. Which team well, would we love you. you have liked to play for, for other than the Saints? Uh, if you would have wanted to play for the Saints. I mean, I think anywhere in California would be incredible because uh, of the weather. And Minnesota. Just that. Which Minnesota? is kind of opposite, polar opposite. But I've just heard Minneapolis is an incredible city. And so living in Minneapolis oh, like with a, a lot of money. <laughs> it's just like. Very, uh, I mean, bro, they have underground tunnels because of the winter. No, no, it's it's horrendous. Like, I had a buddy that lived there, and he was sending, like... Wait, so your first one was L.A. because of the weather? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I know. Look, I'm, I, I've said this many times. I'm like an onion. I've got a lot of got a lot of complicated feelings on issues. I just really have heard that Minneapolis is, like, a great city to live in. It has Arizona some of the, or Green Bay? You know? some of the, I would hate to live in Arizona. I would hate to live in Arizona. And look, yeah, if you yeah, haven't yeah. seen the Real Friends episode that I'm talking about, and I know you all have, um, someone has yeah. found it. It is in the huddle. Oh, there is goodness. an image. So go ahead and check that out. It's so good. Hey, man. I I will still... Family Stone is a great Christmas <laughs> movie. 
I will still ball crying every time I see it. He's I will, wearing his Christmas sweater. I will the laugh my ass off. The best part about this picture is Nathan in the Pelican sweater. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot, I forgot we wore matching sweaters. I'm the... very, very intimidated by how much you were crying. I'm sitting right next to you. I don't know if I should come Nathan for you. Nathan looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> Wait, who was... Um... I'm looking to Rivers for guidance, and she's crying as well. <laughs> It was very emotional, dude. It's a, it's a, it is a scene that kind of represents a lot of my biggest fears. Very scary stuff. Oh, uh, that's not funny, but like just the whole situation oh, was. It was good. Who? Um, the picture is so good. Which which politician was the best baller? Who could hoop um, the best? Um, Probably John Alario randomly I see him, somehow. Uh, I see him right now, um, and I think he's actually a senator in Washington right now as we speak. He's from New Orleans. Let me look him up. I'll tell you when we come okay. back from this break. 